Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM. We are just coming back from a mission um, with a supply ship and the Ethereals, and it's gone fairly well, we've only lost one person, even though unfortunately we didn't get the leader alive, or maybe we did, because he threw a grenade and possibly knocked himself out. No, didn't get anything. And actually, why is there only a sectoid soldier over here? Because we got one alien live. So, where is he? <laughs> Weird. Oh well. Are we still researching that? Yes. Right, manufacturing laser rifles. Right, good, 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 good. Wait. Uh, are we selling them? Yes, we're selling them. And I need to equip Mr. Pid with some uh, heavy lasers. Just to be sure, for those sectopods, if we don't have the blaster bombs ready. Heavy plasma clips, 139. Bloody hell. I can certainly sell some stuff. Or maybe I can sell it to these bases. Do I have any soldiers here? Yes, I do. So I could, I could transfer some stuff. Some, uh... You know, some of this stuff. Especially, uh, the grenades, I guess. Uh, alien grenades. There. Transfer. And also transfer to XCOM Aussie. 10 heavy plasmas, 20 clips, and... Alien grenades. Alright. Alright, so come on, give me that psionic training. Heavy plasma, okay, that's good. Small, very medium scout, sectoid alien abduction. Uh, interceptor number three, let's go. You've got the lasers. They're trying to abduct people. Come on. Select new target, they're going that way somewhere. Where are they? Select new target. There we go. There they are. Where the hell are they going? Hey, We're gonna run out of fuel. Oh well. 55% fuel. That's... Ah, now we have to return. And now we see it. <laughs> and it's an alien abduction. Nah, you know what? I'll take it out. XCOM Aussie. Let's go War Dragon. Take the bastard out. Yep. Boom. Excellent. UFO destroyed. Uh, ethereal alien retaliation. I certainly need to take this one out. Mr. Pid, if you please. Bang. Come on. Excellent. I'm not going to do these missions just yet. Um, I want to get psionics first, and I'm not sure what the hell is taking so long. This race developed in an extremely hostile environment. They are extremely tough and can resist extreme temperature variations. That was a lot of extremes there. Their mobility depends on a snake-like giant foot, which protects, uh, protects all the vital organs. Their objectives appear to be purely predatory, and they appear to be under the command of some other intelligence which directs their military-style incursions on Earth. Yeah. They're extreme. Extreme snake man. Alien entertainment. Blah, blah, blah. Mind probe. Uh... I could do corpses now. Sectoid, sectoid soldier, why not? Let's do a sectoid soldier. Oh, so cute. Come on, give me a terror ship. Sectoid alien terror, Australasia. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Whoa, bloody fast. Are you serious? They actually outran the Avenger? Where the hell are they? Ah, oh, great. That's going to be a... Oh. Uh, War Dragon, please take it out. And you guys return to base. Look at this thing. How fast is it going? 4,800. This is terror UFO. Come on. There you go. Bloody hell. Of course. Come on. There we go. Would be interesting doing a terror mission with sectoids. Haven't done it in a while, I guess. 
Uh, sectoid soldier. The sectoid hierarchy ranges from soldiers to leaders with powerful psionic abilities. These psionic powers can be used to demoralize soldiers in combat or even take control of their minds. They tend to indulge in human abductions and cattle mutilation. The abduction is used to extract genetic material for crossbreeding and developing clones for infiltrating human society. The cattle provide both nutrition and genetic material. This race appears to want to develop superior genetic hybrids to increase the efficiency of their hive-like society. See, this doesn't make a lot of sense because are they not under control of the ethereals as well? I don't know. Uh, mind probe. Yeah, you know what? Let's do mind probe. Anything with mind. Uh, mutant alien harvest. Uh, interceptor number three. Let's go. Hopefully it's going... No, of course it's going that way. Yes. Yes, I know it's tracking. Lost. Small scout. Nope. Don't want to intercept it. We know it's there. Select new target. Let's go. If you can catch it. There we go. Perfect. It's a very small one. How is this alien harvest? That lone... Was it mutant? That lone mutant is gonna... Ugh. Come on. And now we're going to run out of fuel. Come on, quickly. That little bastard. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Destroyed. With two lasers. Alright, seriously. Where is my... Uh, small Scout Floater Alien Base? Don't want any alien bases around. Thank you. Take it out. Oh, come on. You can catch it. There we go. It's another small scout. Yeah, wh what are they doing in the psionic labs? This is beginning to be a little silly now. Terror ship, mutant. I don't want any terror ships. War dragon, XCOM Aussie, let's take them out. Whoa, very fast these things. I think they must have made them faster. I don't know. Damn. Now these double plasma cannons are quite amazing. Okay, so the days are not actually going that quickly. The mind probe is an alien communication device which is used to take information directly from brain waves. XCOM units can use this device in combat to display an alien's characteristics. Click on the mind probe and then and the use option. Then click on an alien with a cursor. Well, pretty useless unfortunately, but they self nicely. Plasma defense, let's do a mutant corpse. Where's all my ethereal corpses and such? Graph shield completed, XCOM America, excellent. But still no psionics. Sectite, alien retaliation, nope. Don't want any of that. Oh, they're going that way. And they're actually going straight. What? I think they're going straight for the base. I'll have to be careful about that. Yeah. They seem to be going straight for the base. Ace the Brave, take him out. And you return to base. Hello, boys. You really want to uh, engage our base? I don't think so. <laughs> into, into the water you go with those terror from the deep guys. Come on. Mutant corpse. The skin of this creature appears to be an organically created protective armor, which is grafted onto the body. There are numerous cybernetic implants which are used to enhance the cardiovascular system and the senses. The reproductive organs appear to have been surgically removed. Evidently, these unfortunate creatures are limited to a life of warfare and conquest. Armor-piercing ammunition is not very effective against their toughened skin. Who needs armor-piercing ammunition when you've got heavy plasma? It's interesting that they're uh, purple here, so... And, uh, see, this is my problem. They're green, normally. So you'd think, okay, so the green is that grafted armor. But when you look at it, it appears like they've only removed the grafted armor from the eye. So, is it two layers of grafted armor? Is this... I don't know. Never mind. I'm going too deeply into these. Reaper corpse. Yeah, let's do a Reaper corpse. I want to dissect that thing. 
Rav Shield, can I please get Alien Terror? No, no, no. Can I please get the um, thingies now? Uh, psionic Training. Nice. I've got 20 million. Jeez. I think I want to make some more Psy Amps. Stop production. Where are the Psy Amps? I don't know how many I have. Oh, what? I've got one Illyrium? Okay, I'll need to start doing missions. <laughs> Plasma Cannon 182. I just do laser rifles for now. Excellent. Right, I will need to start doing the battleship ethereal. Great. Alien retaliation. Ooh. So, Mr. Pitt. We should probably get this one but when it lands. However, if it's gonna land, it's probably gonna land on our base. I've got everyone over here. Equipment is good. Armor is okay. Do we have any more flying suits? Yes, we have one more. Well, let's see what we can do. Where is it going? Is it gonna land? If it's gonna land, it's gonna be a night mission. So that's not so great. It's certainly looking for us, though. I don't think these ones actually land, so I'm th I think I'm just gonna shoot it down. Hello there. Look at that thing. Take it out. Jeez! Andy hell. They've certainly made the uh, battleships much tougher. Now, I want to wait for daytime. Large scout, sectite, alien abduction. Ace the brave, take him out. Right. Tracking lost. Really? Come on, give me... Oh, for Pete's sake, give me five seconds. Jeez. XCOM Aussie, I didn't even see what this one this one was. Alien retaliation as well. Yeah, they're they're pretty pissed at me. Let's try to go over here. Where was it? That's a small scout. Not very impressed with this one. So where's the other one? Well, I'll just return to base. I have no idea where it went. Reaper Corpse. The Reaper contains two brains and two hearts, which allow it to function even when heavily wounded. However, its furry skin is highly flammable, making the creature vulnerable to incendiary weapons. <laughs> uh, alien surgery. Let's do examination room. Oops. So. Come on, then. How many are there? XCOM Aussie. Need to take it out. And we are running out of Illyrium, Illyrium, so we need to do that. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was very quick. Alright, there we go. Now we can get this one, but I kind of doubt it's going to have any Illyrium, unfortunately. Yes, begin mission. This is going to be quite nasty because it's, yeah, it's, uh, those guys again. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys have this. Actually, that's not the greatest, because you guys usually stay in the back. So there's really no reason for you to have that. Yeah, I need more people to have this. Oh, a little overloaded CK Hawk. There. Oh yeah, heavy lasers. Even though we shot this one down. Where do I have... Oh yeah, of course, these ones don't have clips, right? They sort of recharge. Oh, well, that's, that's quite uh, cumbersome indeed. Salix can have that. And Alira. Alright. I think we're all ready. Let's do this. Hover tank plasma. We're the first one out. Okay, this is the... Uh, the border over here. Oh, yep. Already some unhappy customers. Right, so we see that one over there. Do we see anything else? 
No? Nothing, apparently. Right, so let's uh, let's greet them. Hopefully there's no one over here. Eridani. No. Uh, you won't be able to hit that one, though. So, let's go over here. Now you see him, of course. But, let's go over here. Yeah, we'll have to be really careful. Uh... Can you shoot from here? Mm, I doubt. But you can from here. Not very well, though. 42. Ooh! I take it back, Shrapnel Sponge. That was very nice. Very nice as indeed. Captain K, let's go make sure there's no nasties in here. There indeed is one nasty thing over there. Right, I could use, I could try the um, thingamabobs, the heavy lasers, but he's far too far for me to try that. So I'm just gonna get one of the blaster launchers. Oh, yes, Templord. Now, make sure you bloody don't hit anything. You know what? Let's do it like this. Yeah, make sure you don't smash into anything. That would be bad. Okay, there. Oh, this is gonna be a big, big, big explosion. Oh, wait. Can I can I take you somewhere else? No, Captain K, you need to be there. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should do it from the other side. Yeah, I think that would be better. Launch missile. Right, so... First of all, we'll go over here. <laughs> Actually, over here. <laughs> and then over here and straight down. Bang! Boom! Oh, bloody hell, and it's still alive. Yep, yeah, should have been a direct shot. Crap. Okay, who's got the heavy lasers? Who's got the heavy lasers? Come on, Snowy Frog, where are you? Of course you're in the back. Of course. Of course. Snowy Frog. Salix, he's over here, that's a little better. Oh crap, not close enough. Uh, yeah, and you've... you've uh, blah, 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 not great. 26 time units remaining. Uh, 50 time units, look at that. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, awesome Zalix. Awesome, that was brilliant. Nicely done, I lie. Right, well, time to, I don't know, try to, oh, whoa, 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 not good. Oh, he's not happy. That's, uh, that's for damn sure. Well, some people are gonna die, I have a feeling. Sukhoi. Can you do anything? Let's just do some auto shots. Come on, come on. Was that three hits? Damn. This bloody thing. Maybe I should bring my tank back. He's out of time units as well. Of course. The temp- Ah, wait a second. We- What am I talking about? We have another... Uh... Blaster bomb here. Unfortunately, I have to use it. But, oh well, one has to do what one has to do. Go. Oh! Captain K has been killed. <laughs> Shit. But I had to do this, otherwise more people would have died, I guess. Jeez, these things have explosion radius like crazy. <sighs> Damn sector pods. No, 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 what am I doing? Ah, oh, didn't want to go here. Oh well. Olera. Well, let's get closer, and we'll see. And in fact, we shall see what happens next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.